we can move on to assign resources to the activities. Go back to the activities. On the table area, right click, click on the columns, select resources, resources in the list, move into the selected options, arrange the order after total floor, click apply, click OK. You can see the seven day calendar as assigned in the previous session. Let's go to the resource assignment. To assign a resources for a plan approval, we cannot assign resources for a milestone. So to assign resources for an activity, task dependent activity for plan approvals, select only the project resources which we have created. Yes, the for plan approval, set so design team's responsibility. Click. So, one more important aspect is to you need to check on the details column in the resource section. It can be customized. Right click on customize resource columns. You can select which is the required and arrange in according to the order. So budgeted units per time, budgeted units, actual units, remaining units, at completion units, budgeted cost. We shall move the budgeted cost after budgeted units. So we may not require at complete units. It can be excluded from the options. Click apply. Click OK. So after assigning design team, as per the price per unit rate of design team is $30 maximum units per time is 30 30 day per 30 per day so budgeted units it's eight day so total budgeted units is 248 into duration 30 days will give us 240 240 into 30 dollar will give the cost of 900 dollar so this is how uh, we need to uh, carefully assign the resources and its costing part. So let's move on to assigning all the resources for the remaining activities for substructure design, uh, design and plan preparations will be of the design team responsibility. Click add resources, select the design team again, close it, check on the dates and units. Continue to add on the resources. Again, design team, authority submission. Again, so it's a design team's responsibility. Its review and comments is by third party, external party. It's not with in the scope of our construction team. So for excavation, we need general artwork team you can drag or you can customize the view like you can expand it you need only artwork team is required you don't need the general worker for this remove the general working team you can remove here click on the remove select yes select yes okay so price per unit budgeted units 8 into 7 is 56 then we are getting budgeted cost of 245 so we shall continue to add resources pcc and rebar work general workers team formwork and concreting again general worker team backfilling by artwork team so concrete works is our C team. 
in the form of concrete we need to assign rc team also click again select rc team so here you can see the changes here all the resources added is visible in the resource column continue to add superstructure for substructure we forgot to add the rebar quantities that is material resources we select the substructure steel material and concrete works we need equipment concrete mixer equipment so this uh, units we need to change we don't require uh, concrete mixer equipment for all the days so you can change to 8 into 2 16 two days the last two days for concreting rc team engineer supervisor even for substructure also we need supervisor first floor columns concrete mixer engineer supervisor rc team we have to add for all the concreting works As we double click here you can see the changes it will be added into this so we need to add only for remaining uh, four activities like uh, superstructure steel RC team supervisor engineer and for finishing works we don't require any concrete works for finishing its engineer Workers team, the RC team is not required, supervisor. So we exclude, we will remove RC team. For external finishers, it is the same team, engineer, supervisor, general worker. So we have done assigning resources to the project program as you could see the resources has been assigned for all the activities task dependent activities so this is how resource assignment is done you can check the resource assigned thing like usage profile for at the menu bar in this detail section for detail we need to click on the detail to check on the resource usage profile click on the resource usage profile icon you can select to see actual units uh, remaining early or allocated early units or limitation this is the limit the black color line indicative line is the remit as you can see all the resources for over a period of time so there is no over allocation suppose if any resources is over stretched is a steel superstructure steel limit is in the black in line indication or stretched or more allocated superstructure let's go back to the details again